Okay, I'm working on a 2004 Nissan Altima engine. It's a 2.5 liter. I was going to be showing you how to do the timing on this. Uh, first thing, I just wanted to show you kind of how I got to this point. Now, I've got the engine out because I'm doing other things. Um, I can see where it could be done in the car, but it's going to be really difficult to get to all this stuff. <clears throat> and the, the main thing is you got to get the front cover off of this and I mean it is really no joke it's uh, siliconed on there and there's some alignment dowels on there and it just really sticks and also the bottom plate on the engine has to come off as well to be able to access this uh, lower portion of this tensioner where you can see the alignment marks Okay, I just wanted to take the time to show you some of the stuff I removed. Uh, obviously, the lower oil pan piece had to come off. Uh, I've got the uh, pickup tube out. This here is the actual front cover, and I would recommend taking this lower portion of the oil pan off first. It makes it a little bit more easier to deal with. <clears throat> so, I just kind of took off in that order I took the lower pan there's bolts that you have to access in here before you can get this piece off so you got to take that lower pan and get uh, all your bolts around the perimeter and there's even a couple hidden up in here in between the transmission so you got to get those to a couple of 10 millimeters so don't miss those so that takes care of that and then you have to work around it with a putty knife to get it loose, pretty difficult. Same way with this, you have to work all the way around it and not get too rough with it because you, you can break this, you know, it's just aluminum. And it's just really kind of glued on there. So, but that's what you have to do um, to be able to get to it. And like I said, your, your pickup tube comes uh, to the bottom of this cover right here. So, uh, you know, it's, you got to get under there and get get this here off before you can go to getting this piece. So it's it's kind of involved as far as being able to get to the timing. But you know, if you were going to do it in the car, you could do it. It's just you're going to have a little bit less room to work with. But you know, say you're replacing the head or whatever your chain breaks, you know, you're going to have to deal with this. Okay, so here we are <clears throat> back at the engine. So the very first thing you have to line up is this bottom chain for your crank. And uh, you have to get this in alignment before you can move on to lining up your cams. So, like I said, when you get in here, it's going to be all out of whack. And, you know, unless you mark, you know, this is you're taking it off up here in relation to the sprockets and everything but I would recommend just starting and aligning everything so you know it's right but um, anyways that's the first thing I had to get this aligned with this and then there's an alignment mark that you have to get to on this to be able to line up your top cams and I'm just going to go ahead and take this tensioner here off you'll need to remove this upper tensioner to be able to get slack to be able to get this on up here so you just drop that I've just got that and removed <clears throat> just got it dropped down for now but I'm gonna go ahead and just take this lower tensioner off and you can reuse this you just you this little thing here pushes up words and you can push that back and I've taken it off and put it back on no problem, we just got these three 10 millimeters right here because you have to get this off to be able to see if this gear down here is in alignment where the mark is up here. Because I just took that off of there. Like I said, you can push up on this piece, pushing that way, and then this just pushes in. You're able to squeeze that back in. And uh, like I said, I can't really do it one handed, but that's how you do it you just push that lever up and then it just it's got adjusters on there and it'll just go back and you can reuse that a lot of times these OEM ones are pretty good 
<clears throat> so anyways, with that out of the way, I can show you this right here. And there's a mark that's right there. And this is actually not in the position where it's supposed to be there. So you actually absolutely have to make sure that these are lined up according to the mark. So you have to double check all this stuff. But there's your mark on this lower gear. You get your yellow or gold link on that. And then you got an orange link right up here. And it lines up with that. And then once those are in alignment, you know you got this right. So then you're going to get your cams. You take, you get the orange link lined up and you kind of got this piece here uh, that just slides on and off. It's got a dot on it right there that you could use to line it up, but it's just as easy just to slide it slide it on and off out of your way it just slips on there it's got a little keyway that lines it up but so just like that just slip that off of there and uh we like said there is your mark get your orange link <clears throat> on that now when you need to turn this you're going to have to get use your bolt your crank bolt put your wash some washer or something on there and get in there and turn it to where you need it obviously i've already done that so i've got it in to alignment <clears throat> so anyways once we got the orange link then we come up here and you're gonna have to turn this as well to get it where you need it you got a mark right there probably have some paint and it's got a little oval slot and you put that yellow or gold link on that <clears throat> like I said I got this side on first <clears throat> make sure that's where it's supposed to be and then we come over to this one and you'll need to rotate this and I just kind of turn this uh, turn these with 11 sixteenths is what I was using and uh, you can even turn this one by hand a little bit but you got a mark or a uh, keyway looking spot right here and you'll see some paint on it but that's what you're gonna line up you're gonna put that on that gear on that link right there so it'll look like that so you got all these funky little things on here so but it's going to be in alignment with that keyway the center of that link and that one on there <clears throat> and then once we've got those to where we need them we can go ahead and we don't turn any of this you know it'll it'll mess it up we want to keep it here until we get everything get our tensioners on but once we got this then we can go ahead and uh, get our tensioners on and tighten all this stuff down and just you know we'll know we have everything right because all of our links are lined up so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that piece back on and I'll show you what it looks like with these tensioners on okay so there it is with those tensioners on like I said I could you can reuse those I just pushed them back in and started a bolt and they'll go <clears throat> you know new ones are easier because they have a little pin that you pull so it won't you know release until you pull the pin so they're easier obviously um, with this one down here I should point out that you know you're pulling the slack on this side so when you get that gear lined up you actually will turn it and tighten up this side and it makes it easier to slip that on because it's going to push the slack from this side. But, you know, if you're worried, um, you know, put you a few marks on there or take it back off and double check it because, you you know, this is, you know, not the time to have any mistakes. You want to make absolutely sure because you can't really see it when it's on there. So you have to make absolutely sure that that does not move, that it stays on the center of that mark, on that link. And then this one, and everything is where it's supposed to be when you get your um, tensioners on. So like I said, we got the mark down here on the bottom on our yellow or gold centered up on its mark. And again, we got this mark centered up on its orange mark. 
And then we've got this one right here. And you can see the dot. Well, you can see the dot right there on this sprocket and that mark. So that lines up the center of the orange link. This is for the cams. And then again, we come up to the top. Got our mark for a yellow goad link right there. And then we've got this keyway, this little paint mark in the center of that yellow or goad link. So it's, you know, as far as the alignment process, very simple. It's just the getting in here to this stuff. That's the difficulty. So, but you know, if you had a chain break or tensioners or um, replacing a head or whatever, you know, you're going to have to deal with this. So, um, the main thing is just to make sure that all of your marks are perfect and take your time putting that together. Like I said, as far as lining up, it's just really simple. You just align your marks. Your marks on your chain and you know that you've got it you got it lined up the way it's supposed to be and it's going to work right so anyways um like i said the, the most difficulty you'll have will be removing the lower cover which you need to get that off of the pan and getting the this front cover because it's just glued with that silicone and very difficult and uh like i said this little piece just comes off so you can see your your uh, mark there a little better. Of course, we got our crank bolt. So um, it'll be a good time to go ahead and put your um, put your new front seal on your timing cover as well at this point. But like I said, I hope this has um, been helpful, and I thank y'all for watching.